In our next exercise, Great Beginnings, you have us feeling competent and confident. Always a good thing. How are we going to do that? You know, you asked me earlier, what's the difference between asset-based thinking and positive thinking? And one of the main differentiators is asset-based thinking shows you how. So we all know, you know, we can't just become more competent and more confident by doing some uh, silly affirmation that, you know, doesn't really land anywhere. So I would like to invite people to do something and apply it, in this case, to confidence, let's just take confidence, that is uh, a methodology that has a general application. You can think of it as the Swiss Army knife of ABT. And I call it scan, snap, saver. Scan, snap, saver. So scan, again, what am I looking at, right? I'm shining the spotlight of attention on the positive times and experiences when I was really confident. So we can all think back to a moment in time where our confidence, it, it was amazing. Even amazing to us. Wow, you know, I did that with real confidence. So I want people to think back, scan your past, for a moment in time, one moment. There might be many, but one moment. Then I'd like for you to think back, what were the sensory details? You know, who was I talking to? How was I interacting? Put yourself in the place. And I like to say, take a photograph for God. You know, there's this sort of notion where we can snap and have a mind's eye image of something that really represents what actually happened. So put yourself in the picture, put other people in the picture, and just take a snapshot. Third piece, savor. Savor that moment. Re-experience it, relish it. Now the new neuroscience has revealed that if we do this for 60 seconds, so who doesn't have a minute, right? We can create new neural pathways that allow us to get an implicit sense that we are, in fact, a confident person, just from one experience. So we begin to form what we as psychologists call implicit memory about what it's like to be me. And if I rehearse and remind myself of those moments that I was, in this case, confident, we're looking in on one, we begin to shape our sense of ourselves and then we begin to more easily live out of that. And what I think is amazing is this takes one minute. If you want to extend it to 90 seconds, go ahead. Because that savor portion is what really gets the neural networks firing, the limbic system, the prefrontal cortex, working memory, implicit memory, that what it's like to be me is I'm a confident person. And as you do that, we call this exercise Great Beginnings, doing that just before you might walk into a situation where you need your confidence will help you lead with confidence.